So diabetes is a very, very important risk factor in patients who present with coronary artery disease. We know these patients are much more complex. They have multivessel disease. Their disease process is extremely extensive. Uh, it's outside of the coronary vasculature. And when we treat these patients with diabetes, uh, uh, with their diffuse small vessel disease, uh, we're studied, even with the best generation DES, with recurrent events. So, and those recurrent events are not just limited to restenosis, but also to more myocardial infarction, new lesions, et cetera. The Creativo stent is a very novel technology of a, the best uh, stent uh, design in and of itself with a thin strut, but very, very important and unique to this stent is the amphilimus formulation. And what this is, is, is serolimus with a fatty acid uh, combination so that there is more uh, availability of the drug to the vessel wall so that you could have less restenosis. Now, if you can imagine, this could be incredibly interesting for the diabetic patients. In the current uh, data that we have available, for the Creativo stent, what we have seen is excellent uh, late lumen loss, extremely low late lumen loss on angiographic follow-up. And uh, because of the non-polymeric approach, there should be excellent healing. And the entire setting of this stent, to me, seems like it would be best for a diabetic patient population. So the diabate study is a one-of-a-kind study. Um, it's a study that's just focused in patients with diabetes. And in that particular setting, we're randomizing 3,000 patients to the Creativo stent versus uh, the best-in-class Zions stent and following these patients uh, for 12 months for target lesion failure. So the study is powered for a, um, first, a non-inferiority against the best in class, which we think we will pass with flying colors. But the most important thing is to say we're also testing for sequential superiority uh, for, uh, uh, for this uh, stent platform in diabetic patients. Well, I mean, I think if this is a positive study, we could finally say we have something novel to, appro to offer to our patients with diabetes mellitus. And I think uh, this is what, what it's been sort of, there's a quest for making sure that whatever we do is best for these patients. And in fact, what we're finding is that the best in class DES uh, has not made the important uh, impact on re uh, reduction of recurrent events in these patients even with the best in class. So diabetic patients continue to have higher rates of recurrence. So if this study is positive, then we have something to offer to our patients with diabetes, and surely they deserve better than what we have currently.